Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to try to teach you how to, to uh, play According to You by Oriente. Since I've been getting a lot of uh, requests on to do a uh, tutorial slash tab. So, uh, without further ado, I'm going to get right down to it. Now basically, um, with Oriente, uh, the way she tunes her guitar when she plays According to You is uh, pretty much a whole step lower than standing, standard tuning. So, her top string would be a... Uh, D string, and then her uh, fifth uh, string would be an a, uh, G, and then C, and then F, A, D. So it's a D, G, C, F, A, D. And uh, you can pretty much play this song in the uh, um, standard tuning as well, but um, if you want to go for you know what Orianti plays, it's uh, a whole step lower. So let's start off with the verse. You play an F power chord right on the uh, fifth fret of the uh, D string, and then a D, and then E, and then C. So it goes. however many times is that and then um, the other guitar player starts doing the fills like um, a few lines before the pre uh, the chorus kicks in and he does pretty much like a, he plays on the uh, B string on the third fret and then the E string on the third fret so it goes like this and then hammers on the on the fifth of the E string side And then, um, a few lines after that um, on the video that I made is because uh, I tried to incorporate the little fills and as well as what Orianti plays. The next one is going to be a box pentatonic pattern um, E minor um, position. And uh, just to break it down to you, the E minor scales uh, on the 12th position is like this. <laughs> And uh, basically, um, there's uh, like connecting notes and so forth on there. So it starts on the tenth on the top string, twelfth on the top string, then ten on the next one, twelve, slide on the fourteen, then twelve again, fourteen, twelve. 14, 12, 15, 12, 15, and then full bend of 17. Set. Okay, well, that was um, a little sloppy, but crunch the ideas. So that's that little fill, and then it goes to the chorus, which is a C power chord. E, E, and then A. Yeah. And then actually, um, instead of playing that E power chord on the uh, seventh fret, you can actually play it right here. So it's. And then right, goes right on the A. And then um, after that chorus, there's a little fill-in, um, basically a pentatonic pattern, so um, on the key of E minor. It starts on the 12th fret on the uh, on the uh, D string, so it's and then it's hammers on the 14, 12, 14, and then just, she's just doing the better there. Yeah. Then goes on the B string on the uh, 15th fret to the 17th. And then 15 again on the E string. And then um, full bend on the 17th. And so the whole thing. Okay. 
then first goes back to the verse, which is. And then um, right before the chorus kicks in, she does another fill, which is another uh, pentatonic pattern, E minor pentatonic pattern, on the 12th and the 15th of the B string. And it goes like this. And then she just does a full bounce. And then goes to the chorus again. And then after the chorus is uh, the bridge. And um, the way I play the bridge is uh, not completely accurate, but um, it has the like the basic structure of it. Um, and the basic structure of it is pretty much your E power chord, C, G. Then we just fresh listen to the song for the timing and whatnot. Um, and that's fresh how Oriati plays it. But now, if you want to incorporate what the other guitar players are playing, um, you do this. And then just go to the C. And then. Uh, I think the second time around is just go back to the E. And then goes, goes to the C. And then this is a, a, on the second part of my video, I'm going to do the uh, guitar solo. So uh, click on part two and uh, I'll see you later.